They're so on fire. So Round one. I love the, stick oh, the, the stickers, the uh, cards. Truly a gift. <laughs> very, very good. Let's see what this lead matchup looks like. What they throw out. It's gonna be Serena and Excadrill. Ooh. Against Grimmsnarl and Kofagrigus. Right, this, this is gonna be an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Um, two physical attackers on Caster's side of the field means that this Grimmsnarl has the easiest turn one of its life. Um, but we also know that this Kofagrigus is uh, in danger of setting up the Trick Room. So this is a matchup that Neon has, the Caster has to like really think about and figure out how they're going to overcome this turn one here. Yeah, and they're both very aggressive fighters from what we've seen, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my really wants to set up the bulk and then just... Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh, right. oh, the one shot on Grimmsnarl! Trick Room, Whoa. not a problem. As long Never as the mind. Grimmsnarl doesn't get to set up the screens, that's, uh, that's the angle that Caster wants to fight on. Uh, that means that Caster has in the... We, we might see the Porygon Z coming out, uh, making problems for Mai after that turn one. But yeah, that was right through the reflect. That Excadrill taking names Terrible right fight. there. It's scary. I mean, that's like full investment, I believe, in attack, plus a helping hand from the Serena. Serena, like, using its turn very valuably to take that out of the field. Very true, yeah. Oh. Okay, this might but... be... All right, I want to interject here, though. So, Shay... Oh. We got, a, we got a mummy on the field. That's pretty cool, it. right? Yeah, this is one of my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> one of my favorites. It, it was one of the ones we were considering for you when we were designing your team, but here we go. I'm glad to see it. Caster in with the Dynamax. Uh, might be that we see the X drill. Caster saying, all right, the X drill was a problem oh, yeah. for you last turn. Now, how are you going to deal with X drill when it's big? Big trouble. <laughs> That's for sure. It is big and huge trouble. Another helping hand. Pupuna. Another helping hand coming in to just overcome that boost from the reflect. The energy ball eats that up. Let's let him in on Hyper Pop. That's a one shot thanks to all of the various boosts that Nido King gets off of Life Orb, off of Sheer Force. Huge, huge damage there. But the max yeah. quick coming in from Claw Punk. <gasps> and that's oh, the return God, knockout. Raising that special defense in addition to boot. Yeah, Caster, Caster looking dominant in this position. For game show hosts, they aren't playing around. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking one tap after one tap, and in comes Synthway, and holding down the back for my is Lure. Ooh. I think this is the time my really needs to pull out a Dynamax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine needs to use that Dynamax to try to take control of the last parts of this game. Gotta have uh, to stand around a bit. Yeah, before it just goes completely over to Caster. Last two Pokemon on the field is usually the uh, time that competitors are looking to uh, leverage mm -hmm. that Dynamax and make sure they don't get completely run over. Is some of my strongest, though? It is, and my still has roads back into this game. Uh, if that belly drum comes out, that could be a major moment for Mai if a uh, caster doesn't predict properly that the belly drum is out. Mm -hmm. or... For real, for real. Uh, and there's the Dynamax coming in. And it will be on a zoom roll. Big ol' egg. Not opting for the belly drum, just opting for getting some damage down. Mm -hmm. Making, I can those understand why. I can really understand why, though, because with the uh, Rotom threatening uh, on with, you know, the lightning weakness for Azumarill, just keeping it alive a little bit longer just to do something really important. Just, uh, very, very uh, true. Oh, my goodness, a one-shot! <laughs> just, like, ignoring the Excadrill saying, hey, I'm going to kill everything else, Bozo. <laughs> we will play We will play around this Excadrill. Uh, the Excadrill is a problem for later. Um, <laughs> you may have it for now. Oh, the and bulk. that steel spike doesn't do nearly as much as one would, as one might hope here. This, <laughs> this Excadrill is just farming these boosts up, though. It has the plus one to special defense, the plus one to defend, 
uh -huh. and uh, those are gonna last those are gonna last longer than those screens my screens will be going down pretty quick here and the last pokemon on caster side of the field is webcore uh Ooh. not not an ideal situation <laughs> for it there's still i believe one turn left in the trick room here i still throw some but, hands oh for sure but once once the screen is down I or, hands. or once the trick room is down that's when caster is at their strongest Oh, uh, the range, out of here. that's just enough. That is enough to take out Caster. Caster going down to the last Pokemon. Wow. It is just this lone Porygon against the world here. The Thunderbolt what? into Azumarill. Oh. Some big damage, but not quite enough. Oh, the Citrus Berry to boot. Oh, the Citrus Berry oh, too, right. yeah. I believe Mai has one turn left on the Dynamax as well. So if mm -hmm. uh, Porygon was hoping for... If Porygon was hoping that might turn the tides, uh, that's not quite the case yet. That Zoomerol has, uh, the ability huge power, too, huh? Double the attack. Yeah. <laughs> Double the attack. We're bringing Paragon. that, uh, 50 attack up to 100 base stat. Yo, this Coffin Green is looking more like a grass type right now. Well. Yeah, for yeah. real. <laughs> getting, getting huge value out of that energy ball, and the Max Geyser is enough to take down Webcore. Michael Puna <laughs> oh takes God. game Why? one here. Stunning! Yo! What was the time on that? Yeah, that reversal, wow. Directly into yeah, round yeah. two. <laughs> yes, please, buy neck brace that it doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, that would uh, be official fluffy idea. barrage TM neck brace. <laughs> that poor and trip chop. Trip pop, rather. Am I going with the, the uh. It ain't broken, so mine's going yeah, to Yeah, it ain't broken, don't fix it. <laughs> we do see Trip Hop on the field, though. This is going to be a tricky one. We're going to see if Caster is able to leverage the uh, unique little quirky little moveset of this Sableye to uh, figure out an advantageous position here. Yeah, that Sableye is trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little yeah. gremlin bastard. I'm scared of the red card. <laughs> Now, it's worth noting that red card will not affect Dynamax targets. Oh. Very true, very true. Trip up going for that Shadow Sneak, getting some chip damage down on the Cofagrigus. Mm -hmm. I think Caster oh, knows that's a threat Losing now. access to the Prankster, uh, thanks to Mummy, uh, which is not ideal for the Sableye. Uh, needs that to help it, help out his defense stat. But let's see what it is that this Porygon Z is going for. Uh, it's going to be a try attack into Grimmsnarl. Takes it pretty well, thanks to the light screen coming up. Mm -hmm. And we are under Trick Room again here. Classic. The Sableye being slow doesn't matter quite as much now, thanks to Prankster, thanks to uh, the Trick Room being up. It's naturally a slow Pokemon, so it might oh. be that it has the speed it needs to get the job done here. It's doing what it needs to do. Mm hmm Ooh, Ooh, switching now. It is retreating, and Clawfunk is coming in. Oh, hang on. That's going to be kind of important, though, because that means that um, it's going to take a grass move here. Mm -hmm. Uh, that shouldn't trigger the weakest policy. It has the steel typing, and that resists. It does, it does. But does uh, steel resist ghost? I don't think uh, so. I don't believe it does. That was changed in generation, like, seven or something. I see, I see. The generation where they nerfed steel, that one. Uh, My least favorite sure. generation. Steel types rise up. Why well, can't steel, steel types. types, like, why, why don't they just resist everything? Yeah, honestly. Take me back to Gen 2. <laughs> but still, that's pretty nifty, though. You know, just kind of covering her bases. And we see what? another switch. Hello? Caster going for a lot of defensive switches here. Yeah, yeah. And Hyper Pop out on the field here. Oh. Okay, Kekukuki, can't trick. Uh, unable to trick here, thanks to the Queen of Majesty coming in. Mm hmm. But the energy ball down on Clawpunk means that Clawpunk, uh, down to about a third, not going to take another hit very well. Well, the Grimstar's out KO here. On Kekrakuki before it goes down, though. Bye bye. How many turns left on Trick Room? It's not that many. It's gotta be like one or two, right? Two at this point. <gasps> Big cute <gasps> baby. The cute baby on the field. See, if Sword Shield actually had a good spectator mode, we'd be able to see how many turns of this is left. True. Oh God, yeah. Uh, Nintendo is hogging all of the good spectator modes, and I will not have it. 
I uh, am going to write a formal petition to Nintendo that they uh, release the spectator modes to the public. Switching oh, is switching swapping again? all around. Ooh, he huh? takes the energy so ball pretty well. Uh, Caster opting to preserve Whee. that drill, and the red <laughs> card does uh, bounce the Kofagrigus out, bringing in Lure. That is not who my wants to have on the field, I don't think. It is not loving being in against that Serena oh, here. Oh, cute blade. Serena going. sees food. <laughs> Hyper oh. But Serena is seeing food from the, uh, from the knockout zone. Goodness me. Bruh. Like, you can, hello? You can hear the gears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one... Every turn, it's just a, a huge swing in momentum in both directions, and it's so hard. It feels like we don't even know who's on the upper hand here. It's hard to tell. Every both, move is shocking. Both, yeah, both contestants are just... They, they have uh, good positions in their own way. I it's think. anyone's game. <laughs> it is. I was trying to. I was trying not to say it, but yes, it is anyone's game. Why would you try to truth. not say it? You've got to say it. it's our catchphrase. People, people bullied, bullied me for it before, but yes, it's anyone's <laughs> game. Just double down. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both contestants haven't used uh, Dynamax either. That is an important note. Oh, here, you say something? So. Oh, speak <laughs> of the devil. There it is. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Not big baby. That's gonna be a big Azumarill. Works out well for my last game. Am I going for the same strat here? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think Caster's got the read though? Uh, uh. Caster has the Dynamax too. And that will be coming in on. Oh, well, what is it? Gonna be the Porygon, Porygon Z here with the Dynamax. That helps out its bulk. Uh, oh. should. That should oh, keep one core alive for cry. the best time the kind, of a long, kind of a long time here. It isn't naturally threatened by the uh, Pokemon that Caster has on the by the, the by the Pokemon that Hemi has on the field, and especially thanks to that fake on support coming in. The Starfall comes in on Trip Hop, but Trip Hop has done its job at this point, and we'll see how Caster is able to leverage this turn here. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Bye bye, little guy. <laughs> My final message. <laughs> the Max Lightning in on Lore. Some respectable damage, but not quite not enough for a knockout. Oh, but does set boost. the electric terrain though. Mm -hmm. I think it'd still be a three hit KO, right? Should be a two hit with the addition of the electric terrain. Uh, that's a 1.5 times boost for that Max Lightning. So if Caster goes for it again, that should be a knockout on a Zoom roll. Did he maybe baby's I don't know. 1.3 now, I think they. In Gen 8, it was nerfed, yeah, 1.3. Ah! The Mold Breaker. How? <sighs> I can't keep track of how many turns it's been. How... <laughs> the... Well, Trick Room the just trick ended. Room? It's going too <laughs> Trick Room just ended. Okay, yeah, perfect. Trick Room's down. Okay, okay, okay. That is uh, what Caster was waiting for. Now, Caster has the speed uh, and the damage. That boost from the Ooh. electric terrain. There it is. <laughs> Just to two tapping, even with no chance to actually eat that citrus berry. Yeah, that was like so. Screens went down, terrain went up, mm -hmm. <laughs> room ended. L plus you're, you, you just got stomped. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and that, this baby. this is exactly what Caster needed for the tides to turn and for them to take control of this game. And Maya's down to a lone Cofagrigus against a Dynamaxed Porygon Z and an Excadrill with how many no turns, control of the speed. How, how many turns does the Porygon Z have now? Porygon should have one more turn left. Is Max she, Lightning is into Max Lightning. So we might want to see my Protect here? Yeah, we'll see your Protect mm -hmm. here. Just trying to stall that Dynamax turn. Point mm -hmm. hanging on. Good to your light. To, a good plan to stall out that last turn of Dynamax. Uh, Brain. And keep Caster from just uh, stomping in one bash. Uh, keeps the Iron Head from KOing. Staying alive, staying alive. Stay alive. But uh, since the game state hasn't changed too meaningfully, I'm afraid it is only stalling out the inevitable here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mine's going down means, swinging. You know what that we means? We'll have to see. 
Oh, mine's we'll actually checking the time, the number of uh, turns left on tr uh, electric terrain using the uh, rarely what? seen uh, Y button info menu. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> it is a thing, and it does help you uh, track the game. Mm -hmm. All right, that is game two to Neon. Let's talk about what we saw today, huh? <laughs> oh. Match point. Same lead matchup from my uh, slight adjustment from Caster, it looks like. We're going to see Excadrilla and Serena perhaps predicting something new. Uh, and probably realistically just making sure that they're covering the option of an Azumarill lead. Yeah. Uh, getting a healthy hand out there. Last time we saw this, this spelled doom for Grimmsnarl. <laughs> what yeah. It's just a damage roll, huh? <laughs> it might be a damage roll, but I'm not sure about that one. Ah! Targeted. <laughs> Search and destroyed. I swear to God, it was a damage roll. <laughs> it was not a damage roll, Lotho. Still, um, hits like a truck, huh? Hits like a yeah. truck. But. My got down trip room, my got down reflect, so. Sacrificing the one Grim Snarl to get that advantageous board position for her, that might be a trade that she's perfectly willing to take. And cute baby making its new appearance here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, cute baby a lot more threatening when uh, Clawpunk is not the fastest thing on the table. Mm. When, uh, when... What? When Clawpunk is the fastest thing on the table, it beats, uh, it beats Nido King pretty easy. When it is, I, I lost the I lost the train, but you know, you Was know what I'm trying what to I say pinned? here. Is it train? What I it might be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coco. Hang with an iron head. Yeah, iron head, pretty good. Not a bad move. Cast yourself on about half health here, uh, mm -hmm. and two Pokemon health pretty. in the back. Uh, Trip Hop just came in this last turn, so access to that fake out um, might be that Mai goes for a defensive Dynamax on Q Baby oh, yeah. here just to uh, try to negate the threat of that fake out. But it might also be that Mai preserves that Dynamax to uh, make sure that. Uh, As a safety net? We, sort of, yeah. Hmm. And there's the fake out into Q Baby. Uh, Waffle, we have no teams on the screen, by the way. I, oh, thank I thought you. the screen I was looking the, naked. Yeah, it was looking pretty naked. There they are, <laughs> there they are. There we go. I thought I clicked it, but maybe I just did the iconic click drag where it doesn't want to come through. Iconic. It's really iconic. Uh, <laughs> and we have a stable eye on caster side of the field as well. Oh, welcome to the game, Sableye. So glad you could join us. I was distracted. Oh, so by glad you could join dog. us like three turns in. Ooh, the ally switch. Oh, the old switch room. Nice plans. Mr. Headpat's going for the energy ball into Trip Hop. Trip Hop soaking that up pretty well there. And the red card. Mr. Headpat's is out of there. Let's see what mine has in the back. Beep. It's going to be lore. Got to have that lore. Oh, Ooh, oh, man. Power into Claw Punk. That was meant to go into the, uh, <laughs> that was meant to go into that, uh, save live, but it turns out the Earth Power from a Nidoking King with Sheer Force and Life Orb just, uh, just crushes no matter where it lands. <laughs> where do I land this super massive Buster Sword? Oh, you, I, 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 I treated it. Turns out it doesn't me. matter. Just park it anywhere. <laughs> no matter where it goes, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Shout out to Nido King being like the coolest Pokemon of like early designs. Oh, I agree. It's beautiful. They really popped off with that one. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just a monster. It's a, just, you know, that's why I need to see a Dynamax. Come on. Give us what the people want, <laughs> Mai. It does uh, seem to me that we might see the uh, Azumarill Dynamax thanks to it having that nice uh, thick HP stat that uh, huge power and a pretty favorable matchup into the rest of Caster's team. That very meaty. Uh, hyper pop, kind of scary here. Shoutouts to the UI of Pokemon being very clear when you are selected for Dynamax and when you're not, because all your moves mm -hmm. change their names. Yeah. And then Terrasalize it gets all sparkly. What? <laughs> and we'll fail. That will be the Dynamax from my on the Azumarill. That's here right. One more time to cause some problems. 
Oh, what a I yell. Love hearing that cry too, like the old like Gen 2 sounds. They just right. hit different. They do hit oh. different. It's true, it's true. Okay, so Caster, Caster with the Dynamax of their own to answer. It will be It's like a old lady! Sarina. Sort of a massive woman this moment one. here, if you might. Huge woman moment. moment. <laughs> The question is, uh, is is this uh, is this a strong enough Serena to just survive through this onslaught that is probably going to have to suffer this turn? It is going to have to soak this sludge bomb here from Nido King, and that is a scary, scary sludge bomb. Terrifying. Off of the stab, off of the uh, off of the sheer force, off of the life orb. It's uh, oh, but it gets to move first. What? And that oh, means no. Nido King's gone. Okay. Out of here. That changes the calculus, doesn't it? The calculators are flipped. And the hail is and up now, now too. Caster reveals their last Pokemon and two turns on Dynamax for both teams. Mm -hmm. And I believe we should see, yeah, the end of the screens and the trick room. No so screens. Caster has the momentum going into these next turn. Mr. Headpats. The same Pokemon in the and back. Web core. Can we give a shout out to Porygon Z for just being a really cool design to Pokemon? Like good yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> just good Pokemon all around. On on his person. Really? Yeah. Waffo? Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised. You, it seems like you, a very you Pokemon. <laughs> you impressed by my good taste? The Max Guard soaks up the Thunderbolt. And soaks up the max overgrowth. That double up just completely negated here. Oh, and then the trick room set up and on the top. the trick room completely resting control of the momentum, flipping the script on caster. What? Now Michael Kuna is the one in the driver's seat. Where are we going? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going to the trick room, baby, and <laughs> we're not leaving. Now we need to see what is Mai going to do? Mai has had a really good turn there, so what will she do with this? The gears are turning. Gears are turning, and we'll have to see how Caster adapts to the change in the field. A lot of thinking quick on your feet in this one. Yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't, I don't know what else to say, but it is anyone's game here. They're going down on train, they're putting down tracks as they drive by. <laughs> Dropping special defense, nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. Into the... <gasps> oh, that's such a thick Max Geyser, and the Porygon Z is down. Is it a KO or is it 1 HP? I didn't see. Nope, that is a pure knockout. No, it's just We're gone. Down. <laughs> God. So Serena's return fire, overgrowth. the Max Overgrowth. It's gonna be big! Into lore. <gasps> but that's not quite I'm enough. Not... It's too thick. It's still holding on. Lore lives in the red about like a like a tenth HP left, and it gets oh, that very very... just a little bit. Just a little sippy. And that should be the last turn of Dynamax for both parties. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The Banui that could? I'm pulling out all yeah, my teeth. Yeah. It's still, it's still kind of threatening though. Caster has, Caster has the tight matchup here, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a little hard for a Zoomerl to hit this in a way that matters too much. It has the player off. Um, the Iron Tail isn't great. Uh, the player off the huge is pretty power. good. Yeah, player uh, off will it has be the best power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's gonna be. But, so it's like a delicate situation though, because I think one wrong move from my. And if Hasher is able to capitalize on it, then we could see this last minute flip. I don't know. It's coming down to the wire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or, uh, well, Playrough has a mischance, and it loves to rear its ugly head whenever the stakes are super hot. You are right. Let's see how this plays out. Oh. Yeah, palm sweaty, palm spaghetti. The Shadow Ball comes in, does a sizable chunk of damage, but the Playrough does connect. <laughs> oh, wait, and wait, hang on. Pop survive. The power okay. up comes down, and that's going to be a knockout onto Lore. But oh. is Serena able to survive long enough? to stall out this trick room and get these last few hits that it needs onto this Kafagrigus uh, to end the match in Caster's favor. I'm scared. Doesn't it have priority or does it not matter a trick room? 
I don't so believe have access to. Nope. Oh. So without that though. No grassy glide on this one. No grassy glide, but with that, oh my God, Shadow Ball will take out the Serena, oh. and that means that Mai wins this game. Let's get that victory what? screen here. Oh, what a match that was. The winner like is the ultimate, the ultimate life form, form my Papuna. Oh, Cassie's really such proving. a good sport. Such a good sport cheering for your opponent. Whoa.